Skippy? Um, <laughs> I saw a gif of that it never online gets yesterday. Oh, no. You know a gif? I saw it and it was just you doing this and they kept doing it over and over again on I Twitter. I wanted that set to music. Uh -huh. like, yeah, she's awesome. like Madonna. Yeah. And <laughs> oh, I have a good time. I enjoy life. I love it. Most of the comments were about you, Mr. Blue Suit. Were, was it about the blue suit or just me no, in general? Just, you know, I did. did you read this one from Eyeballs with Glasgow? It's long, <laughs> but we were having that discussion it's long? about... They said that? He about says, uh -uh, as uh -uh, to the debate it. consultant, I'd ask Hillary Clinton the following. Um, <laughs> yeah, and he's got like a whole litany. And I look at stuff like this from viewers, so thank you very much uh, for this person who wrote in. Um, but, but I mean, when you think about these debates, how are they really preparing? Because it seems like everything is already out there. Like, what would you say to her? What would you say to him? I think they prepare Trump like this. Hillary says something or the Hillary stand in says something. Trump says something back and they say, no, 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 no. You can't say that. And then they correct it. And then by the time he gets on the stage, he's a well-oiled machine. Why do they need to do that? Why can't he just be who he is? He can, but they, I think he just needs to be a very crisp version of himself. I think there's it's always good to have talking points, uh, you know, brushing up on what's current and foreign dad policy. Do this? Yeah, as I said on the show, it's one of my, my my, by far my favorite memories. Memories, and yeah. yeah, they isolate candidates traditionally. I mean, I don't know if they're going to do it with Donald Trump, but they would normally take them to a location where they're comfortable. I assume Mar-a-Lago for Trump. And, uh, I'm you know, really, there, I, yeah. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I think I would be. And, just, yeah. and really prep them hard. It is like training for a, a sports event in one way or another. And I do think there's nothing wrong. I think Donald Trump's biggest asset right now is that he's going to be able to go off the cuff. I think he's easily going to get her off her game and her Who talking points. Who played Obama points. when your dad was prepping? Two of his his strategist did uh, a guy named Brett O'Donnell, and I believe, and don't quote me, that they had they they did bring in like someone from the outside that just like knew his policies very well. And I think that's important. Like I really do think if they were brilliant, they would bring it. They would give like fifteen million dollars to some Republican like you come in, hit her with every hardball possible. Mm -hmm. They're not going to do that because they're paranoid. I think they don't even need to have a Republican do that. I think to Kimberly's point, she's got so much baggage; it's all out there. Somebody could effectively do that from right inside the DNC, actually. Um, and, They're and, not going to hit her with the same way that someone like Jesse I think is. No, bring There's in Daryl no Hammond from SNL that yeah. plays oh Trump God. on yeah. the late I think she's got to be hit hard because you're right. They are go Trump is going to say nothing's off the table, yeah. right? And and to, she cannot be kowtowed to. She cannot be handled with kid gloves in this process. She's got to learn how to pivot and deflect very well. All right, so we were yeah. talking about PC on college campuses and elsewhere. Captain Shadrack says, if everyone who has ever been offended or offended somebody were suddenly to disappear well, there would be no one left to offend and humanity would no longer exist. Enough is enough. Words are just that. Only words. Your thoughts? It's, it's, it's oh God. Go ahead. Well, go ahead. Say, it's contributed to the rise of Trump. Is this over sensitivity that you can't do anything or say anything without offending and someone? Sanders, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, well, I think Trump more than minds. Bernie. I mean, Bernie Sanders is, I mean, I don't even want to talk about Bernie Sanders anymore as long as I live, if that's possible. But I think it's just when you go <laughs> into. Well, time then. Uh, <laughs> but I think when you go into a space, and I certainly experienced this in college, when you feel like you can't be open with your political opinions or your outlook on the world, and the only thing that's socially acceptable is a limousine liberal-esque East Coast experience, people start going crazy. You know what some of the best applause lines were for Trump at the RNC Cleveland mm -hmm. thing was when he said, I'm going to run against the PC nonsense. That got mm -hmm. huge, applause. huge applause. He needs to work that back into the speeches because that really gets a, a real rouse out of the folks. Which is why I asked the question, is it even prudent to sanitize what he would say at a debate? I mean, they mm -hmm. were some of the most watched events mm -hmm. on the planet yeah. last year. Right. Absolutely. So if that's how people are going to get their information about the candidates, what would be the harm in just letting them let it rip? I, yeah, I think he's going to do very well. I really I do. Wouldn't, I, I wouldn't think he's comfortable in his own skin. Yeah. I think so. What's she going to hit him about his Trump ties or his furniture is made in China? He's just mm -hmm. going to be like, I, I'm a job creator. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm a maker. You're a taker. Hillary, you want to take <laughs> people's arms. You want to crush the middle class. Yeah. You know, you can just go after her. But Did that's good, though, KG. He, that kind um, of thematic stuff you're doing right mm -hmm. there. I'm a creator. You're <laughs> a taker. I think just that kind of honing would be effective. Did you him. see when he went after George Stephanopoulos, when George Stephanopoulos mm -hmm. was grilling him? And he was like, you work for the Clintons. You gave money to the Clinton <laughs> Foundation. Who are you to talk to me? That's what really works. I was like, get him. He's not Come afraid right to go now. there where yeah. other people will be like, ooh, take it easy. I got to okay, be respectful. Plus, he was there. 
I, I think that there's going to be a tremendous amount that we'll find out, perhaps, about the relationship between these two that we haven't known. Like, what That's has true. given him the abject confidence to say, yeah, I'll see you in November? Yeah, yeah. But she you know, might he, be like, he knows. Remember he when knows you paid her. me to be at that wedding? Uh oh. <laughs> so Dwayne Joe writes something, and we got into it a little bit during our TV hour, but to see Donald Trump bring up black economics, race relations, and we have a president who they chased around on a golf course this past weekend to see if he would like to comment on Milwaukee. Right? I'm sure we all saw that video. I mean, the juxtaposition of a man who you would least expect to kind of walk into that only 40 miles away from where they've been rioting in Milwaukee yeah. um, was interesting. So Dwayne Joe writes on the live chat, Trump lost that one per black vote last night because he was talking only to white people. Is this now, though... The next step would be to talk, because you had yeah, mentioned that, that yeah. that would be the next step, that yeah. he, he, can he build kind of on took this. a first step. Yeah, he can what do you think, it. Justin? I don't know if he was talking to white people. He may have been in the audience, because there were white people in the audience. In but West I think Bend, if you look at right. the speech on cable, black people watch cable, too. You know, I think the country yeah. was yes, watching. And <laughs> I think I'm glad you look at me. But there is a real vacuum of <laughs> leadership in this country. President Obama, has he spoken about Milwaukee yet? I mean, it's been quiet on the vineyard. He didn't talk about Kate Steinle. He didn't talk about Brian Terry, the guy at the border that was shot. Yeah. Uh, he didn't talk about the Marines stranded in Mexico. Uh -huh. It's only, you know, if the narrative doesn't fit, Obama splits. If it doesn't help him get votes, he doesn't care. So it's funny that Trump's really kind of stepped up to the plate. Hillary's been hiding. She's now getting smoked out of her hole. She does well when she sits back and let the conversation happen about Trump because whenever she's out there on the stump, it's a disaster. I was yeah. pleasantly surprised with it last night when I watched it. I thought it was the right tone. I liked that he was on the prompter to yeah. the majority of the degree. And I, I was watch I was flipping through the channels last night because I always like to see what, what the opposition saying as well. And they had a really hard time spinning this as a negative towards Trump. Yeah. The biggest criticism was that it was a room full of predominantly white people and that's pretty much as good as it, it the, got. The the issue, though, is that the campaign shakeup headline this morning stepped on the yeah. nice afterglow from the Milwaukee speech. I would have waited a day after that to release they the waited till campaign stuff. And exactly. Let this bake. I mean, I would like to have seen, and, and I can't speak with all confidence that you know President Obama and Hillary Clinton haven't maybe sent out a tweet or something about Milwaukee. I haven't looked at, at it that closely and what their comments would have been. But we do just know that there's that video of him being stopped. A couple of days ago on the golf course, do you have anything to say? Um, and so at that point, he didn't. But, you know, just moving forward with all this, I, I don't know, Jesse. I, I, I just wonder what they're going to do with the last few weeks of this campaign if they don't have the discipline to wait 48 hours, mm -hmm. not to step on a message that's already working. Like, yeah. I, I, I don't know how you... Well, I mean, you said it best. I think Kellyanne Conway really adds like a nice seasoned mm -hmm. uh, combat vet to this team. And I think she's going to stay focused on the message. She's not going to get off the message. And she's going to appeal to women. She's going to appeal Absolutely. to young people. She's going to reach into communities Republicans haven't reached into before. And and, you know, we'll see. I, I think uh, last night's speech was great. And uh, he's only got a small window to turn this thing around. But I thought it is last possible. night's speech was really good. But I, I don't want to, like, oversell that, to be frank. I, yeah. I think that there's still a lot of growth that Trump needs to do, not just within the black community, but just uh, moderates and just, just outside of the, the current base that he is very attractive to. Mm -hmm. um, and as for President Obama, quite frankly, more than I want to hear him talk about Milwaukee, I actually want to see my president talk about what's going on in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Yeah. Uh, and, there, you know, I have family members that have lost everything. Thing. Isn't that um, the truth? So, God. quite frankly, that's what Could I want to see. Could you imagine it was Bush out about. there on the golf course on vacation and there was a city burning yeah. and more cities flooding and he's out there You'd saying no comment? It. It's just crazy. It's so disappointing, yeah. you know? I mean, look, he's our president. We want him to do well. We want him to represent the country well mm -hmm. and come out and speak to people, just like when we're disappointed about the fallen officers. I mean, those families right. are grieving, too. He can do so much. He's a great orator. He's an effective communicator. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I get it. He wants to preserve his legacy, so you see him out they're doing anything he can to like bootstrap for Hillary Clinton. But what about the rest of the Americans out there that are suffering? Families well, devastated, families. like Ebony yeah. said. And uh, it's just, Smart you know, family. he yeah. needs to he needs to step up. And they really are. I mean, mm -hmm. you look at the situation in Louisiana, and they had to postpone the adjudication of the police shootings. Yes. And what suspects that they had gathered and information they had gathered, the judge had to to put that aside because right. they've got to deal with the flooding. Mm. Um, on a lighter note, because we were talking about PC on college campuses, Victor Perezel, I think is how you say it, uh, people no longer go to college to further their education. They go to get offended. Shaking my head. <laughs>
Um, <laughs> Central New York Young GOP says funny. Kim has stunning heels on today. Oh, yes, thank you. Oh. Uh, Lucky and Mitzi really are enjoying the cast today and tell us God bless. Oh, very good. Um, nice. Yeah, God so you there well. you have it. Yeah, God bless America. Uh, yes. okay. <laughs> good to have you guys. I'm just saying, like, so free much. reading. Thanks, thanks for this having us so all, fun. Harris. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, course, are you kidding? Oh, yes. my gosh. This is awesome. This is Humpty Sizzle right here. Yeah. That was funny. See you tomorrow. I love that.